Basketball is back. So we're gonna be doing it for the first ever 30 team imperialism tournament to determine the best team in the NBA. Here's the map. In the first team competing is the New York Knicks. The way this works is we use the team wheel to determine which team is attacking. Then we spin the arrow to determine who gets attacked. So now we have the Knicks attacking the Raptors and the loser is eliminated. Okay, so here we go. Knicks taking on the Raptors. Let's simulate this game. If this is close, we'll hop in and take a look at the fourth quarter. Okay, the Knicks, they're taking a big lead. Are the Raptors going to get eliminated already? Doesn't look like it. Looks like the Raptors are holding on. Oh, the Raptors take the lead. Knicks take it back. This looks like a close game. Let's jump into this game. Let's see how this fourth quarter goes. And here in the fourth quarter, the Raptors tie the game. Scotty Barnes at 10 apiece. The Raptors are not going to go quietly into the night. This is going to be a very down-to-the-wire game. If you haven't notice we're doing one minute quarters for some reason i can't figure out how to do play now simcast so i can't simcast yeah we're just going to do one minute quarters and these are going to go by quick so every bucket counts every possession counts i don't want to see this fucking dance cam i like this camera angle for this under a minute to go what do the knicks have in store Oh, it blows right by him. Oh my God, Jalen Brunson just blew right by him anyway quickly. And the Raptors call a timeout. Under a minute to go. What do the Raptors have? A RJ Barrett to Bruce Brown. RJ Barrett ISO? Oh my God, he blew right by... Oh my God, RJ Barrett. How do you miss that? Up to Josh Hart. A bucket here. Oh no, they're gonna go... Why would he stop? Why would he stop? Oh my God, the Raptors called their final timeout, 24 seconds to go. What is Toronto gonna cook up here? Um, theoretically, their final possession. Is it gonna be a Scotty Barnes? Oh my God, he just went right by Josh Hart. And he missed. Oh my God, the Raptors are gonna fall to the Knicks. They still have a foul to give. Oh no, what are they gonna do here? Oh, Randall, okay. Randall's gonna take the foul shots, damn. And Randall hits the first, and if he hits this second one, the game is probably all over. Can he do it? Randall in the Skechers, that's kind of crazy. I keep forgetting Julius Randall's a Skechers athlete. What a nerd. Oh, he missed the second. Raptors have a chance. Do the Knicks foul. Emmanuel quickly to Yaka Pirtle, to Scotty Barnes for three. Oh, and he missed, and that's the game. And just like that, the Knicks take over all of Canada. They have a massive portion of the land. If you see my other imperialism videos, or if you're familiar with the concept, it's not always a good thing to have that much land. And just like that, the Raptors are the first team eliminated. Let's see who's going to be in the second game. We're gonna see the Bulls. Now, which way are they going to attack? They're gonna go the north. So I'm pretty sure that's gonna put them against Milwaukee. And if I'm not mistaken, it is. So we're gonna see the Bulls go north to Milwaukee. It's gonna be a tough game for Chicago. Here we go. Can the Bulls upset Milwaukee? It's gonna be a tough game, but Giannis, I'm pretty sure the Bucks are gonna take this one. All right, here in the fourth quarter, the Bulls are up by three. I'm kind of surprised. Can the Bucks make a comeback here in the fourth? Let's see, Giannis. Oh, they're gonna double him. They're gonna leave Chris. Oh my God, Giannis, what are you doing? The Bulls, if they get a bucket here, this is probably over. Can they score Kobe White to the rim? Oh my God, he was so close. The Bucks, they don't need a three, but they gotta score quick. Oh, Giannis on the middle. Oh my God, they're just gonna. Giannis, what are you doing? All right, can the Bucks get something here quickly? Oh, Giannis, cut into the rim. They're gonna go for a Dame three. Lillard, tie game! And the Bulls call a timeout. What a play call. It is Dame time indeed. What are the Bulls gonna draw up here? Are we gonna steal Levine ice? Oh, back door to Kobe White. Oh my God, they scored instantly. And the Bucks call their final timeout. What a play from Zach Levine. What are the Bucks gonna draw up here? Giannis. Oh my God, he goes right by Patrick Williams and the Bulls call their final timeout. Here we go. Will the Bulls get the final shot? Or are we gonna head to overtime in only our second game? Levine, are we gonna get, oh my God, almost the backcourt. Holy shit. Are we gonna get a Levine ISO to win the game? Here we go. Kobe White on an Iverson cut. Here comes Vooch. Levine. An open three. Oh, he missed it. And we're going to go to overtime because there's no way that goes in. Oh my God. Here we go. Overtime in just our second game. In just a minute in overtime, Giannis goes right by Patrick Williams. Oh my God. Bulls. Oh my God. It's going to be a timeout fest here in overtime. Here we go. Levine going to work against Chris Middleton. Gets right by him. Oh my goodness. And we're going to get another timeout from Milwaukee. Zach Levine and the Bulls will not go away. This game is actually, I cannot believe the Bulls are in this game. Here we go. What are the Bucks going to draw up? Can they take the lead? here in overtime just under a minute to go gonna be a gary trent nope oh david Lillard in the corner uh oh i saw on kobe white can he get by him oh he gets stripped by kobe white and the bolt on the break to giddy oh great defense oh it's great defense from david Lillard. oh to kobe white oh my god the bucks to Giannis. to dame oh my god here come the bulls to giddy are we gonna get a josh giddy game winner to vooch we're going to double overtime. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Double overtime. Let's see how this one goes. Bucks get it again. Here we go. Giannis going to go right at Pat Will. Oh yeah, he's going right at him. Right by a mini. No foul. Oh my God. Middleton. 
That might be the dagger. A three-pointer. Chicago calls a timeout. That's the first three in overtime for either team. Kobe White with the ball. Where are they going with this ball? Yep. No, no, Giddy. To Levine from deep. Oh my God, if the Bucks score here, it's over. Trent to Giannis. Here we go. Giannis and Dame. Giannis? Oh, it's the Giannis Lopez pick and roll. Here we go. Oh my God, right by Pat Will. That might be the game, folks. A five-point lead for Milwaukee. Under 24 to go. That could be the dagger. Do the Bulls have one final push left in them? Let's see. To Giddy. To Kobe White. To Giddy. A Josh Giddy three. The Bulls are still alive. They're going to foul Damian Lillard. And they're not in the bonus yet. How are they going to steal this ball? They're not. Dame is going to be the one shooting free throws. Chicago, no timeouts. Down by four. They need to hit two more threes to have a chance to win this game. Levine just pulls up. Oh, that's going to out of bounds. Yeah, that's going to do it, folks. The Bulls are going to fall to Milwaukee. Damn. All right, and here the map is updated. Obviously, the Bucks take down the Bulls. Sad day for Chicago. Next up, let's see who's going to be playing next. We're going to get the Knicks again. Okay, where are they going to be attacking? They're going to be going to the Northeast. And that means it's going to be New York versus Boston. We're going to get an incredible game in game three. The defending champs versus a potential championship contender, the Nova Knicks. Who's going to come out on top? Let's find out. New York has the ball. Jalen Brunson three. Boston down two. Here we go. Can Jason Tatum and the Celtics win this game? Tie it here on a shot. A fade away from Tatum, and the game is tied. New York calls its first timeout. What does Tom Thibodeau have in store? Is it just going to be a Jalen Brunson, Julius Randle pick and roll? Here we go. 20 seconds to go. Jalen Brunson kind of just dribbling the air out of the ball. I wonder what the Knicks are going to do here if they're going to take the final shot and send this game to overtime. Let's see what happens. Uh-oh. It might be just a Jalen Brunson iso on Drew Holiday is kind of an interesting play call. He gets it up, and he misses. Four seconds. Three seconds to Tatum to win. Oh, and we're going to go to overtime. The Knicks were up four going into the fourth, and the Celtics came back to tie it. What a fourth quarter for Boston. Here we go. Will the Celtics win? Yeah, wow. They smoked, Randall. Under a minute to go, Tatum. How is he going to play this? Iverson cut. It's going to be a Tatum Porzingis pick and roll. Here we go. Oh my God, Tatum, a fadeaway three. A stupid ass shot. Mikhail Bridges up to Randall. Randall by Porzingis, and we're going to go to the line. And he misses the free throw. Oh, my goodness. The Knicks go up by one. Boston calls their first timeout. Here we go. To Jalen Brown, to Derek White, to Holiday, to Tatum. They just... A Tatum three. Oh, my God. This brother needs help. Josh Hart takes it up. There's 30 seconds to go. The Celtics don't have to foul. Jalen Brunson attacking Drew Holiday. What a shot. The Celtics are down by three with under 24 to go. Jalen Brunson with a clutch two-point bucket there. Here we go. What are the Celtics going to do? Are they going to take a three or are they going to play the foul game here? Let's see how they play this out. Porzingis, it looks like going to go to Drew Holiday in the... Nope, Jalen Brown. Derek White, Drew Holiday, back to Derek White. To Porzingis, he's wide open. What is Julius Randle doing? Kristaps Porzingis just tied the game. Will the Knicks take the final shot or will this go to double overtime? Let's see how this goes. Jalen Brunson going to go right at Drew Drew Holiday again. It looks like that's what they're going to do again. Fake spin. He got by him. Oh, he missed. Boston, a prayer from Holiday. And we're going to go to double overtime. Oh, my God. He got by him. He got a step. He just missed the layup. Oh, my goodness. Jalen Brunson. Here we go. Porzingis is going to win the tip because he is eight feet tall. What do the Celtics have in store? Is Jason Tatum? Oh, he's just going to go at Josh Hart. Oh, my God. Josh Hart, some great defense on Jason Tatum. To Randall. To Bridges. For three. And he missed. Oh, my God. Here we go. Jalen Brown attacking Mikhail Bridges to Tatum down low. And he, they take a lead. New York calls timeout with just under 30 to go. The Celtics will not go away. They have come back and answered the call every single time. Jalen Brunson, are they just going to do? They're calling another timeout. All right, well. Knicks are out of timeouts. I don't know what the hell that was. Here we go. Jalen Brunson down by two. He's just going to attack. Step back on Drew Holiday. Missed it. Oh, my God. They're going to play the foul game. Oh, my goodness. And the Knicks are going to fall to the Celtics. Unless they can make a miraculous comeback here. They can't get the ball in. Drew Holiday. They're going to foul Drew Holiday. I think that's probably the guy you want to foul. Here we go. Does he make the first? He does. This would make it a two-possession game. Knicks out of timeouts. Yeah, this is going to be tough for New York. If they don't make a three here, or at least get a bucket, the game is probably over. To Bridges. Pump fake. He drills it. He drills it. Oh, the game is not over yet. The Celtics only up by one. Even if they make both, it's still a one-possession game. Mikhail Bridges, what a shot. Derek White makes the first one. Can he make the second, though? 
He does. So it's a three-point game. The Knicks need one more three. Do they have some more magic in them? Jalen Brunson, Josh Hart from the logo. Oh my goodness, that is not the shot. And that's going to do it. The New York Knicks are going to fall to Boston. And Boston is going to take over the entire northeast corner of the map. Obviously, the map, the Celtics have so much land now. And the Knicks are eliminated. Who's going to be the next team to play the Magic? So we're headed south. The Orlando Magic, let's see where they're going to go. They're going to go to the southwest, if I'm not mistaken. That puts them against the Miami Heat. So we're going to get a battle of Florida in our fourth game. Here we go. Can the upstart Magic? to take down Jimmy Butler and the Heat. Let's find out. Jaime Hawkins inbounding the ball. Heat down three, under 20 to go. To Hero. They're not going to go for three. They're going to miss the layup. Oh my God. They didn't even go for three. The Magic are a couple of free throws away from sealing this game. Can they get an inbound? Almost stolen. They foul KCP. Heat out of timeouts, down five. They need a couple of threes. They actually need a miracle, if we're being honest. Rozier to Jaime Hawkins. He missed, and that's going to be it, folks. Yeah, I butchered this shit out of the map, but the Magic have the whole bottom right. They have all of Florida. And the Miami Heat are eliminated. Who are we going to see playing next? Let's take a look. It's going to be the Blazers. This is an interesting team because if the arrow spins a certain direction, they might not actually even play. They're going to go to the Southwest, and because that's the case, they're going to take on Sacramento. Here we go. This is an interesting matchup in the Pacific Northwest. I have a feeling the Kings are going to come out on top, but let's take a look. Here in the fourth quarter, we have a very low-scoring game. The Sacramento Kings only up by two, but it's five to three. Can the Blazers tie the game here? Simons to Scoot Henderson, a DA screen, a Scoot Henderson moving three. My goodness, that was certainly a shot. Over to Fox. Is he going to go right by Scoot? He is going to attack, spin. Great defense by Scoot, but it's not enough. Portland calls a timeout. And here we go. Portland scored fast. It's only a two point game. They don't have to foul. If the Kings don't score, Portland will have a chance to tie the game. Fox, a oh, he didn't take it. Down to, oh, Jesus, Demonis Sabonis. I butchered his name. I don't know why I said it like that. Fox, ISO on Scoot Henderson. They're going to bring the pick and roll. A step in three. And the Portland Trailblazers are going to call their final timeout. Only a two point game. They don't need a three. Here we go. Denny Avdia inbounding the ball. Probably going to go to Scoot. Oh, no. I am putting Simons. They only need a two. They're going to clear out. Simons on Keon Ellis. Kent Ellis out to Scoot. Scoot to DeAndre Ayton. Oh my God, DA. A lefty hook? Not even a hook. A nice just lefty layup. Sacramento calls a timeout. 2.7 to go. They advance the ball to the other side of the court. Here we go. Where's the ball going? To Keon Ellis. To Sabonis. From way downtown. Sabonis! And the Kings on a buzzer beater. Oh my God. What a shot to end. Oh my God. A Deep three from Domanis Sabonis. Holy shit. And the Kings survive and knock off the Blazers. Just like that, the Blazers are gone. We're down to the top 25. Let's see who we play next. It's going to be the Atlanta Hawks. Again, they're in a nice position. Where are we going to go with Atlanta? They're going to go to the Southwest, which means they're going to take on the Orlando Magic. Okay. Trey Young versus Paulo Bancaro. This is going to be an interesting game. I'm excited to see how this looks. And with under 40 to go, the Orlando Magic are up by one against Atlanta. The Magic extend their lead here on this possession. Jalen Suggs. Where is this ball going to go? Down to Paulo on Jalen Johnson. Are they going to double? They're going to let him do a hook shot and he misses the hawks have a chance to take the lead here deandre hunter gotta find oh he's gonna attack oh he had the lane he decides to pull it back out trey young on jalen suggs pick and roll long two. Oh, the magic get the ball back franz Va well actually if you're gonna foul someone i think wagner's the guy or him or carter the magic don't really have a lot of shooting outside of kcp on the floor they're gonna get the ball in here to jalen suggs to wagner so 9.3 even if they do hit both these free throws it's still only a one possession game Wagner hits the first, and he hits the second. Okay, so Hawks are going to call a timeout there to advance the ball. Magic up by three. So if you're the Hawks, do you you have another timeout, so you really can't afford to foul one more time if you don't get a clean look at a three. It's probably going to be in Trey Young's hands. I'd be shocked if it wasn't. Trey Young for three, and he hits it! Oh my goodness, what a shot from Trey Young. With just under seven to go, the Magic tie game. Are they going to hit a game winner here? Where's this ball going? To Jalen Suggs. Five, four. The Magic, Jalen Suggs is going to take it. Three. Oh, Polo! Oh my god, we're gonna go to overtime. Capella, no. Wendell Carter wins the tip. The Magic have the ball. Wagner at the top of the key. A Wagner, Bancaro pick and roll. Where is this ball gonna go? Out to KCP for three! Oh, and he missed it! The Hawks have a chance. DeAndre Hunter to Bogdanovich for three! Oh my god, they're just trading bad shots. Here comes Jalen Suggs in the Magic. Is he gonna attack Trey Young? Let's see how this goes. Over to Wendell Carter. Wendell Carter for three! What the 
fuck? Oh my goodness, the magic go up by three. I might not be a ball nor, but I did not know Wendell Carter had a three-point shot like that. The Hawks have to answer back. They don't necessarily need to go for three here, but a three would be nice. They're gonna go to Trey Young and they're gonna call another timeout. That was a waste of a second. 29 seconds to go. Trey Young attacks Jalen Suggs. He gets stripped. Trey Young gets stripped by Jalen Suggs. The Magic are a couple of free throws away from winning. Again, I'm surprised the Magic aren't trying to aim on this ball to KCP here. And they are. There we go. One of these is probably, and that's probably going to be the game. The Hawks aren't giving up yet, though. They cut the lead to two. The Magic got to get the ball in. They just get the ball in. Franz Wagner gets fouled. If they miss a free throw, they can have a chance to go for the tie. Wagner with the first. Hits it. Will he hit both with the second? Okay, so the Magic go up by four. That's probably the game. And that'll do it, folks. The Magic take down the Hawks to survive. And there go the Hawks. Who is going to be playing next? It's going to be the Brooklyn Nets. And they're going to be going to the north. So that, I'm not... That means they're going to take on Boston. Oh my God, that's going to be tough. Yeah, this might be the this might be a blowout, man. The Nets are one of the worst teams in 2K. We'll see how they do. Boston has the ball. I'm surprised the Nets are still in this game. I'll be honest with you. I expected this one to be more of a blowout, but I guess with one minute quarters, anything can happen. Tatum attacks here. Goes at Claxton. Doesn't get the rebound. Here comes Cam Thomas and the Nets. Is he going to get a clean lane? No, he's not. He's getting like triple teamed. Bogdanovich out to Dorian Finney-Smith. Yeah, this, this team needs Cam Thomas to go to work. A fadeaway three. Cam Thomas is a madman, bro. Out to Tatum. Attacks, sidestep, bucket. And the Nets fall down three. Here we go. Can Brooklyn cook up something here late in the fourth? See what they go with. I think Cam Thomas is going to take a quick trigger three, I'll be honest with you. Out to Cam Thomas. They're going to call another timeout. All right, well, here we go. Claxton to inbound to Cam Thomas. Is he going to take a quick trigger three? I have a feeling he is. No, he's going to go to the rim. Spin move. He gets fouled, okay, so he's going to get some free throws out of it. Makes the first. If he hits the second one, he's going to cut it to a one-point game. Brooklyn out of timeouts, though. And he, oh my god, he missed it. Oh my god, Cam Thomas choked at the free throw line. They still have another foul to give. I think you want to foul Holiday, I would assume. Holiday or Derek White. And they're going to let him inbound the ball. All right, so Drew Holiday's going to shoot free throws. He makes both these. It's probably over. He makes the first. This is to give the Celtics a two-possession lead. Does he hit it? He does. Nets out of timeouts. This is probably the game. Cam Thomas is going to take a very fast three here, I have a feeling. Or you're going to... Dorian Finney-Smith, a long two. Oh my god, yeah, this game's over. All right, here we go. So we landed on the Thunder, and they're going to go to the Southeast, which means the Oklahoma City Thunder are going to attack the Houston Rockets. So this is going to be an interesting game. Houston's a nice up-and-coming team. The Thunder, obviously, are championship contenders. It's going to be interesting to see who wins this one. Two super young teams. Obviously, the Thunder have Shea. Let's see who wins this one. All right, here we go. In the fourth quarter, Oklahoma City only up by two. The Thunder have a chance to take a bigger lead here. Shea has the ball at the top of the key. Iverson cut. Here comes Chet Holmgren. We know this play. Does he get by? Oh, to Chet. Oh, my God. He missed. Out to Jalen Williams. Oh, my God. The Rockets have a chance to tie here. Dylan Brooks up to Jalen Green. Going to attack to Van Vliet along two. And he's going to miss. Jada with the rebound up to Lou Dort. He's going to attack the rim. And he's going to drill it. Timeout, Houston. Thunder have the ball up three. If they get this inbound in, it's probably over. But the Rockets still have a chance. Here we go. Can Shea ice it? He can. And the Thunder are going to come into Houston and take down the Rockets. All right. Let's see who we got next on the wheel. Going to be the Spurs. We get to see Wemby for the first time in 2K25. And the Spurs are going to be attacking to the Southeast, which means technically they're attacking the Thunder. So we get to see Oklahoma City again. Wemby against Chet. This is going to be a fantastic game. And in our first blowout of the video, the Spurs fall to the Thunder. I mean, even if they hit shots here, there's no chance they come back. Wemby be the shot misses the three yeah this game is over i'm shocked that the thunder annihilated the spurs all right so who's gonna play next the loser of this game will be eliminated and they will be down to the top 20 we're gonna get to see the bucks again and they're gonna go to the east slash southeast so what does that mean that that technically means they're gonna take on the pacers so we're gonna get a central division matchup this was a playoff series last year these were some incredible games can the bucks take down the pacers or will the pacers continue their dominance let's find out we enter the fourth quarter the pacers down by three only obviously a minute to go these games are short so anything can happen Halliburton okay we're gonna go to the free throw line and the Bucks only up by one. What are they going to do here? Are they going to go Dame Giannis pick and roll Giannis Lopez pick and roll see what they do Giannis attacking Siakam goes right at him and he 
banks it in. Indiana calls a timeout. They go up by three. This is not good for the Pacers. Here we go, Halliburton. They go for the three. Oh, he goes right by... Oh my god, Nemhart cut back door, and they're only down by one now. Here we go, Giannis. 40 seconds to go. What are the Bucks gonna do? Is he gonna go at Siakam again? He is. He's gonna go right at Siakam. Moves him out of the way. What a little boy. Down by three. 30 seconds to go. Are the Pacers just gonna keep trading buckets, or are they gonna go for a three to try to tie it? They're gonna call their final timeout. 27 seconds to go. To Halliburton. They're just gonna go for the two. Hall what a stupid ass layup. He does hit it, though, so they're down by one. They're gonna play the free throw game. Gary Trent is gonna shoot the free throws. Is he clutch? I lied. They're actually gonna make Giannis shoot the free throws. Oh my god, they had a foul to give. This is perfect for the Pacers. Here we go. Giannis at the free throw line. Makes the first. Will he make the second? Pacers are out of timeouts. Here we go. And he makes the second. Do the Pacers continue to play the foul game? Or are they gonna go for the three here? Halliburton attacks Dame. He goes right by him. They're just gonna keep playing the two for twos. Is Giannis gonna be the one shooting these free throws? Or are they gonna go to Dame? They're gonna go to Dame. That's much smarter. Makes the first. If he makes this, the Pacers might have to keep going th for three. Makes the second. Again, no timeouts. What are the Pacers going to cook up? Halliburton going to go right at Dame to Siakam for three. Oh, and he misses it. That's probably the game, folks. Four seconds to go. If Dame hits one, the game is over. Free throws up. And it's good. And the Bucks are going to take down the Pacers. What a game. So this is what the map looks like. We're down to the final 20 teams. It looks a lot different than we I expected it. I'll be honest. I didn't expect to not have the Knicks or the Pacers on here. We still haven't seen a lot of teams down in this area in the West Coast. But let's see who's going to be playing in game number 20. So he's going to be the 19th team left. We're going to see the Celtics again. And they're going to be going to the Northeast. So technically the closest thing to that, I believe, is Delaware. So we're just going to have the Celtics take a plot of land here. And they're not actually going to play this game. Which means we get a respin. Who is going to be the next team eliminated? Maybe we'll see a team out west? We do. We see the Denver Nuggets for the first time. Where are they going to go? Going to the northwest. That actually, I'm pretty sure, means they're not going to play either. Yeah, they're just going to take over Wyoming here. So we'll get a couple teams just expanding their land. So who will be playing next? It's going to be the Lakers. Now, I'm pretty sure the Lakers have to play someone because I think they're landlocked. They're going to be going to the north. Northwest, which puts the Lakers against the Clippers in a battle for California. This is going to be an interesting game, folks. LeBron versus Kawhi, D'Angelo Russell versus James Harden. This is going to be a great game. Battle for LA, we get to see the Clippers in the new Intuit Dome. This will be my first look at it. It'll be interesting to see. Here in the fourth quarter, the Clippers are up by two against the Lakers. I'm not going to lie. I didn't expect this. Harden, Kawhi pick and roll is probably going to be what they go to. Oh my God, a Terrence Mann long two. And the Clippers go up by four. And the Clippers are a couple free throws away from icing the game. James Harden makes the first one. Lakers have battled back. They consistently have made shots, but they did not play well enough in the first half of this game. They're out of timeouts. Again, unless they make two threes here, the game is probably over. Up to Reeves. Sizes up. Oh, and that's the game, folks. I know it's an old logo, but the Clippers have taken down the Lakers. Let's see who's going to be playing next. We're going to be getting the Cavs. I think this is the first time we've seen the Cavs, and they're going to be going to the direct west. I'm pretty sure that puts them against the Bucks. It does. So we're going to get another Central Division matchup. This should be good. Donovan Mitchell versus Dame. Woo! Here we go. Darius Garland, Donovan Mitchell versus Dame and Giannis. This should be a good one, folks. Here we go. In the fourth quarter, the Bucks are up by two. Can they take down the Cavs and defend home court? It's been a tough ride for the Bucks. They played a lot of really good teams, but Giannis misses the shot there. Mobley to Mitchell. What do the Havs Cav here? Attacks Gary Trent. Oh, he goes right by Gary Trent. And the game is tied. Are we going to see a timeout? Yep. Timeout Milwaukee. Here we go. Dame right. Oh, he got fouled. And Dame hits both. Timeout Cleveland. They go up by two. Here we go. What are the Cavs going to draw up? Garland's going to get this ball here, I'm pretty sure. Attacking Dame. Goes right at him. Moves him out of the way. And he drills it. Timeout. Nope. No timeout Milwaukee. 34 seconds to go. Tie game. What are the Bucks going to do here? Is it going to be a Giannis Iso? We've seen a lot of it so far. He attacks Mobley. Taking his time. Oh, he has to pick up his dribble. Gary Trent to Dame for three. Oh my God, what are the Cavs going to do? They're going to call a timeout. The Cavs have a chance to go for the win here. Donovan Mitchell oh, almost has a backcourt. What are we going to do? Donovan Mitchell, isolation on Gary Trent. 15 seconds to go. I think the Cavs are going to hold for the final shot. Spin move. Attacks Gary Trent, goes right by him. Oh my God, Milwaukee calls timeout. Six seconds to go. The Bucks down two. How will Giannis and co respond to Dame? Dame is going to attack 4-3. Two, he's good. Giannis has to go. He doesn't even get a shot off in the Bucks. Lose to the Cavs. Oh my God. Cavs made a great comeback in this fourth quarter. Definitely didn't expect that. Who's going to play next? It's going to be Denver. Now, will Denver actually play or are they going to get lucky again? They're going to be going to the Southeast. 
And that means that they're going to play. I'm pretty sure that's going to put them against the Thunder. Let's take a closer look at this arrow. Yeah, Denver is going to take on the Thunder. This is going to be a battle of two Western Conference powerhouses. It's going to be a fun one. Jokic and Jamal Murray versus Shea and Chet Holmgren. Who's going to come out on top? Let's find out. Here we go. The Nuggets down two in the fourth quarter. What does Jokic and co. have in, in store? Murray are going to attack SGA or are they going to get Jokic? Yep, Jokic on a post up. Oh, they're going to double. He's going to shoot. Nope, Michael Porter Jr. Oh, he had one more to Chris. Doesn't even matter. No. Nuggets take a one-point lead on a Michael Porter Jr. 3. Wow, what a shot. SGA goes right at Jamal Murray, and he drills it. Nuggets call a timeout. The Thunder go back up by one. What a shot by SGA. Here we go. The ball is going to go to Jamal Murray. Maybe not. Maybe it's going to go to Christian Brown. Back to Gordon, to Jamal Murray. Is he going to attack SGA? Step back three from deep. He's going to miss it. Is Aaron? Nope. Lou Dort gets the rebound. Thunder up by one. 30 seconds to go. Nuggets don't have to foul. Jalen Williams going to attack Aaron Gordon. What a tough shot. Timeout Nuggets. They have a chance to take the lead here. Here we go. Gordon's going to inbound to Jamal Murray. T down to Jokic. They're going to double. He spins through the double. Gets blocked by Chet. They foul Lou Dort. Jokic surprisingly didn't pass out of the double. Thunder with a foul. Or excuse me. Nuggets with a foul to give. This ball is going to go into Chet. Or excuse me. To SGA. And SGA has a chance to put the Thunder up by three. Here we go. And he makes them both. No, he misses the second one. No timeout by the Nuggets. Murray's got to go. 11 seconds to go. They only need two. They're going to go to Jokic on J-Dub. Pass out to Gordon. To Porter. Oh my god, he missed the buzzer beater, and the Thunder are going to eliminate the Denver Nuggets. Oh my goodness, I definitely didn't expect this. And just like that, Denver is eliminated, and who is going to be playing next? It's going to be the Golden State Warriors. We haven't seen them yet. And there's a chance they don't play, depending on where this arrow goes, and it's going to the Northwest, which puts them up against the Clippers. So we're going to get another Battle of California. I know the Clippers and Lakers are in... The map has them in no cal. The bay is supposed to, whatever. It doesn't even matter. It'll be fixed after this. Here we go. Steph Curry and Draymond Green against James Harden and Kawhi Leonard. Two teams with really new looks. We'll see who comes out on top in the final battle for California in this video. And here we go. The Warriors down by one. What does Chef Curry have in store? Nothing. They call a fucking timeout. What the hell is that? In Oh, I thought that was Kavon Looney. Buddy healed. Over to Steph Curry. Attacks. Oh, goes right. Whoa. To Draymond Green. He had a lane. What is Steph Curry doing? He had a layup. Kawhi Leonard. Pulls up for, oh my God. The Warriors have another chance. Buddy Heal up to Steph. Attacks James Harden. Oh my God, James Harden gets the rebound. They don't have to foul, but are they going to? Kawhi, here we go. Draymond Green on Kawhi. Kawhi is going to take the clock all the way down, and then he's going to shoot it. He's going to attack Draymond Green. Goes right at him. Up and under, and he missed. The Warriors call their final timeout down one with nine seconds to go. What are the Warriors going to cook up here in this timeout? Their final timeout of the game. I imagine it's a Curry Green pick and roll. It's got to be. Steph going to attack James Harden. No screen. Pulls up for three. No, look! Drills it! Steph gives the Warriors a two-point lead. Clippers call timeout. What a shot by the chef. Here we go. Who's going to take the shot? Is it going to be James Harden? No, it's going to be Terrence Mann! Dagger! Terrence Mann gives the Clippers the win! What a shot! Oh my goodness, and the Clippers take down the Warriors. What a shot by Terrence Mann. All right, who are we going to play next? That was an incredible game. We get to see Charlotte for the first time. Where are they going to be attacking? They're going to be attacking to the southeast, which technically means they're just going to take over Virginia, so Charlotte is safe. But their territory does get bigger, so that's not always a good thing. So who is going to be playing next? We get to see the Detroit Pistons. This is the first time we've seen Detroit. I believe they're landlocked, so they're going to have to play someone. They're going to the Northwest, which technically puts them against the Celtics. So we're going to see Detroit take on Boston. This is going to be a tough game for Detroit. This is going to be a tough game for Detroit, but if they have any hope, it's going to come from Cade Cunningham. Can he take down the gauntlet and take down Boston? Let's find out. In the fourth quarter, the Pistons are actually up by two. What does Cade Cunningham have? Oh, he goes right by Drew holiday oh my goodness celtics need a timeout here we go boston down by two they continue to cut into the lead what does Cade cunningham have he's gonna go right at drew holiday off to Jaden ivy ivy attacks brown pull up and he missed it Jalen duran with the rebound he gets fouled on the comeback oh my god a huge offensive rebound for Jalen duran hits the first free throw to extend the lead to three here we go if he hits this they make the lead of four. Oh, he missed it tatum they need a three under 20 to go tatum Attacks, they're gonna go for two. Maybe they're not, he's wasting a lot of time. Jalen Brown for the tie! Oh my God, a sore Thompson. I think it's a sore, I don't remember if it's a sore, man, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Are the Pistons gonna take down the Celtics? They go up four. They're gonna take down the Celtics. This is the biggest upset in the video. They're down by four, they just have to let them shoot. Oh my God, I can't believe this just happened. 
And just like that, the Pistons control the entire top northeast of the map. The entire upper northeast is Detroit's. Wow. Definitely did not expect to see Boston get knocked out like that. And this is what the map looks like. We are officially halfway done. Wow. Okay. Definitely some teams on here I expected to see, but no Celtics, no Knicks. Haven't seen a lot of the teams right here in the middle of the East Coast. Haven't seen Minnesota, Utah, or Phoenix. Let's see what we get to see in the first game in the first half. It's going to be Philly. So we do get to see Philly, depending on where this arrow goes. Philly's going to be attacking to the north, kind of northwest. And they're going to take on Detroit. So they have a chance to take all of the land Detroit just took from Boston. Let's get into it. Maxi, Paul George, and Joel B take on the Pistons. Pistons are clearly no slouch, so we're going to see if they can take them down in their building. Here in the fourth quarter, Detroit actually has a two-point lead on Philly. Kate Cunningham goes right by Maxi, extends the lead back to four. Philly has to do something quick or this game is over. All right, so we're down to the top 14 teams. Let's see who's going to be playing next. This could be a huge game. New Orleans, I don't think we've seen the Pelicans yet today, and they're going to be attacking the Southwest. I'm pretty sure that puts them against the Oklahoma City Thunder. This is going to be an interesting game. We're going to see Zion versus Chet, DeJounte Murray versus DeJounte Murray versus SGA. Let's get into it. All right, here we go, boys. Look at these lineups. We also have Brandon Ingram versus Jalen Williams. This is going to be a fantastic game. Let's get into it. Here we go in the fourth quarter. The Pelicans have a one-point lead here in Oklahoma City. Can they hold Hold on. Here comes Brandon Ingram. Let's see what the Pelicans have in store in this first possession. Attacks J-Dub. Are they going to... Oh, they're clearing out for Brandon Ingram. Here comes Herb Jones for a screen. They're not going to even use... Oh, what a terrible shot. Here comes the Thunder. A bucket gives them the lead. SGA pulls up for three. Misses it. Oh my God. Okay. Traded shots. Pelicans have the ball back. Here comes Zion to CJ. Back to Zion. To... Oh, I thought that was... I did not know that was. DeJounte Murray ISO at the mid post. Is this the play call? Herb Jones? Seven to go. Herb Jones for three. Oh my God, timeout Oklahoma City. 15 seconds to go. The Thunder down one. A bucket gives them the lead and potentially the win. Here we go. Ball into SGA. Iso on the wing. He's going to go for the win. Going to attack DeJounte Murray with no screens. Mid post. He's dribbling like it's a park game. Three, two, go. And he misses it. Game over in the Pelicans. Take down the Thunder. What a game. And just like that, the, the New Orleans Pelicans have a massive chunk of the map, not just in the South, but in the Midwest as well. All right, who is going to be seen next? There's still some teams we haven't seen play, one of them being the Phoenix Suns. And they're going to be going directly to the North, which means they're going to be taking on the Utah Jazz. Now, neither of these teams have played, but even so, one of them is going to be eliminated right now. Here we go. On paper, this is going to be a pretty tough game for the Jazz to win, but who knows? Here we go. The start of the fourth quarter, the Utah Jazz are up by three with a chance to extend their lead. Keontae George has the ball down to Lloyd Markin, and they have Grayson Allen on Lloyd Markin, and they're bringing a double. Nurkic gets there. And, oh, great defense by Nurkic. The Suns have a chance to tie the game here. Grayson Allen down to Kevin Durant. And the lead is cut to one. What do the Jazz have in store? Can they hold on to this lead? They're going to have to play through Lloyd Markkinen. Him against Grayson Allen is a walking mismatch. Keontae George is wide open. Oh, he missed a wide open three. That might have sealed the game. Here comes the Suns. Bradley Beal attacks Keontae George over to Devin Booker. Are they going to ISO Devin Booker? It looks like they are. Devin Booker looks like he's dribbling at the park. Goes by Colin Sexton. Oh my goodness. What a dunk by Devin Booker. And the Suns take a one point lead here on the road. Can Utah respond? Are they going to try to score quickly? They're only down one, so they don't need a three. Keontae George is going to go down to Lori Market and they're going to have to double quickly. Why aren't they going already? Oh my God. No, they're going to John Collins. Nope, back down to Lori. Are they going to double? They are. Devin Booker, doubles late. Wide open, Keontae George. He missed again. Oh my God, and Phoenix survived. All right, who is going to be playing next? Let's take a look. It's going to be the Cavs. Which way are they going to be going? And they're going to be attacking to the north. And that means they're going to take on Detroit of the final two Central Division teams with a chance to have the most land. See who wins this one. Darius Garland and Donovan Mitchell versus Cade Cunningham. The Cavs on paper have a major advantage. Can they take down Detroit? Let's find out. And here in the fourth quarter, the Pistons have the lead. They're up three with just a minute to go. Can the Cavs come back? Kate Cunningham, oh my goodness. He sauced the shit out of Darius Garland. Timeout, Cav. And with just under 17 to go, the Pistons are up by two. They have missed a lot of free throws. This game is not over. Jaden Ivey, not the best shooter. And he makes the first one, though. Gives the lead back to the Pistons up by three. Cavs call their final timeout. Do they have a miracle in them? And Darius Garland hits a three. And just like that, the Cavs cut the lead to one. The Pistons, I don't know what they're doing. Good day, by the ball to Jaden Ivey. Here we go. Can Jaden Ivey ice the game? He just makes the first. And he makes the second. Cavs out of timeouts. They need a three. They got to go quickly. Six seconds to go. Five, four, three. Donovan Mitchell. Two to Mobley. Oh, and he just misses it. And the 
Pistons are going to take down the Cavs. Oh my goodness. And just like that, Detroit takes down Cleveland. We're down to our final 11 teams. The winner of this game will secure their spot in the top 10. Let's take a look. Who will be playing in this one? We're going to get the Washington Wizards. Oh, this is the first time we've seen Washington. Which way are they going to be attacking? They're going to be attacking to the south. Does that mean they're safe? No, they take on Charlotte. So two teams that I don't believe have played yet, and one of them's going to get eliminated. Two bottom feeders. We're going to get LaMelo Ball versus Jordan Poole and Kyle Kuzma. Let's see who wins this one. All right, here we go. Fourth quarter, 5-5. Five to five. The game is tied. I kind of expected this two very sub teams. LaMelo Ball, oh, he had him. Oh, he drops it in, and the Washington Wizards take a timeout. Hornets go up two with 50 seconds to go. Wizards down to what will they drop? Is it going to be a Kuzma ISO? No pick and roll. Oh, he pulls up for three. Oh, Oh, he misses it. Alan Tudis with the board. Out to who is that? Koulibaly out to Brogdon. Pulls up for two. Oh my God. Here we go. The Hornets have a chance to ice the game. Brandon Miller. Will he take his time or he's going to attack? Throws it up to Mark Williams. Oh my God, what is Valentunas doing? And that's probably the game. And the Wizards have cut the lead to one. They're going to foul Trey Mann. Malcolm Brogdon came off a screen and hit a big three. With a foul to give, let's see if they're able to get the ball in LaMelo or if they have to bring it in Trey Mann. The ball's going in, into LaMelo, and LaMelo ball go to the free throw line. Here we go. The first one is up, and it's good. A chance to push it to three-point lead. Washington, no timeouts. They have to go to the length of the floor here. Will we get a Malcolm Brogdon pull-up three? Here we go. He's going to get to the paint. Oh, they're just going to go for two and one. Oh, my God. He almost hit it and one. Makes the first one. Cut it to a two-point lead. And he makes the second. Back to a one-point game. He almost tied it. They're going to get the still mellow again. We're going to play the free throw game. First one's up. And good. Still have 15 seconds, so no need to take a three here either. Again, no timeouts, three-point game. What will the Wizards do? Brogdon, is he going to take a pull-up three? To Koulibaly. Oh, whoa, he pump fakes a couple times. Misses it. Oh, my goodness. And that's probably the game. Five seconds to go. One free throw steals it here. And the Charlotte Hornets are going to take down the Washington Wizards and advance to the final 10. We're down to the final 10, and this is what the map looks like. Obviously, Detroit has the entire north and northeast part of the map, but New Orleans has a nice section in the middle. Obviously, Sacramento and LA on the west coast. Minnesota still has not played a game, neither has Memphis, and they're two teams in the final 10. So this is interesting. Who will be the first team to play in the top 10? Let's take a look. Will it be a team we haven't seen? No, nope, we get to see Detroit again. And they're going to the Southwest, which technically means they're just going to take over Kentucky. So no team, no playing here. They're going to be fine. They're just going to expand their land. And as you can see, they have a massive portion. They're a big target. So who will be the actual first team to play in the final 10? Oh, okay. I guess it's going to be Detroit again. And they're going to go to this. The Oh my God. The almost the exact same spot. And that means they're going to have to take on Memphis. This is not going to be easy. Heavy underdogs in this game. The Pistons are going to go on the road to take on John Morant, Jaron Jackson Jr., and the Grizzlies. Pistons are here. They've surprised a lot of people. Can they continue to do so? Let's find out. And in just our second blowout of the video, the Memphis Grizzlies absolutely annihilate the Detroit Pistons. And they're going to take over a massive amount of land in their first win. And just like that, Memphis now controls the most land in the entire map, especially the entire top Northeast. That is a huge win for the Grizzlies. And that just goes to show how much luck is involved in this. Memphis didn't get played once. And they have the most land on the map. In Detroit, they were playing all the time, and that's what happens. We're going to get Phoenix next, and Phoenix is going to be attacking to the west, which pretty much means they're going to take on the Los Angeles Clippers. The winner of this is going to take over a lot of land in the bottom left corner of the map. Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, and Kevin Durant take on James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, and the Clippers. Clippers are down a couple guys, obviously, with no PG. See if the Suns can take advantage on the road. And the Clippers are going to blow out the Suns. They were up 9 nothing going into the fourth quarter. Phoenix just scored a bucket here in the fourth. Very shocking very surprising upset but the clippers are going to advance and we're down to the top eight this is definitely not the top eight i expected to see we do have some power players left in minnesota for the first time we're going to land on them they still have a chance to not play anybody if they go to the nope they're going to play they're going to take on memphis for a chance to take over the biggest plot of land in the entire map let's get into it anthony edwards julius randall rudy obear taking on john morant desmond bain and jaron jackson this is certainly going to be an interesting game let's see who comes out in this battle of young west guards and just like this at the end of the day the memphis grizzlies take down minnesota as we start to see home field advantage or home court advantage is really big in these this is going to be tough who will be playing next let's take a look at this we're going to get the los angeles clippers again and they're going to be attacking to the southeast which technically means they're just going to take over new mexico and they're not actually going to attack anybody all right who is going to play next will it be the clippers again it'll be the dallas mavericks for the first time in a while we haven't seen dallas where are they going to be attacking to the direct east, pretty much, which means they're going to take on the Pelicans. The winner of this is going to have most of the map in the middle of the map. 
It's going to be a huge game. Luka, Kyrie, and Klay Thompson going to take on Zion, B.I., and DeJounte Murray. It's going to be an interesting game. Let's see how this one goes. Here we go. Dallas up two in the fourth quarter. Can they hold on or will the Pelicans come back? Luka, step back three. Oh my God, what a tough shot. The Pelicans have a chance to tie or take the lead here. Ingram, he's going to go right at Kyrie. Over to Zion. Oh, he thought he had an and won it. Zion goes to the free throw line with a chance to tie the game here. First free throw is up and he misses it. He missed them both. Oh my goodness. Up to Luka. A bucket here seals the game. Five second differential in the game in the shot clock. They're going to milk all of this clock. And then Luka's going to go for the kill. Between the legs, he goes right by him. Oh, he missed it. He had the rebound though. He had a layup. Missed it. Oh my God. Mavericks call a timeout. Oh my goodness. Pelicans have to foul. The ball goes into Luka. And Luka is a free throw chip away from sealing this game. Hits the first. This could push it to a two possession game. He makes it. Pelicans are going to call their final timeout. Let's see if they have a miracle in them. CJ McCollum into three. It's a one possession game. PJ Washington's got to get the ball in. He gets it in. Listen, the Pelicans probably aren't going to win this game, but CJ hit a big three to cut the lead to one. Luka at the free throw line. No matter what, they're going to have a chance. They're going to have to launch this ball. Luka puts the second one up. He makes it three point game. Pelicans, no timeouts. Here we go. Going to be a heave from DeJounte Murray. Oh my God, he hit the top of the backboard. And Dallas comes into New Orleans and takes down the Pelicans. My goodness, what a game. Here we go. Down to the final six teams. The winner of this game will secure their spot in the top five. We get Orlando. Which way is Orlando going to be going? There's a chance they don't actually play anybody, and they're going directly south. So here's what we're going to do. Which way does this go? This technically goes a little bit more to the right, which means it's, you know what? We're going to give Orlando this side of the map. That's what we're going to do. We're not going to make them play. We're going to give them a chance. They're going to just take over Mississippi. See the Mississippi or Alabama. I'm bad with geography. All right, so we're going to get another spin. This team is going to be locking their spot in the top five, the winner of this matchup. We get Sacramento. Again, this is another team that has a chance to not play anybody based on the wheel spin. And they're going to the west, but it's technically the northwest. And because of that, they're just going to take over Washington. All right, so two teams have avoided playing will a third team do that or will they be finally playing we get memphis again okay so memphis which way are they going to be going they're going to be going to di almost directly west which means they're going to take over where are we where is this they're going to take over arkansas so we're starting to see teams just kind of get lucky and, and accumulate land here which is kind of what i expected to happen a little earlier in this but hasn't uh so teams are continue to do that all right who will be playing will we get another avoidance we get orlando it's the first time we've been in orlando in a long time that's a lie but they're going to be going to the southwest. Now, this is directly, we could see that this is more southwest and southeast. Because of that, Orlando is actually going to take over Mississippi. I know this is Mississippi. I'm tripping. I don't know why I was tripping earlier. So now Orlando was run out of space to hide. And we can see a lot of blue in this bottom right corner of the map, the southeast corner. Pardon my Photoshop skills, but now we should be running out of room for teams to hide. Here we go. Will we get Orlando again? We're going to get Sacramento. Now, Sacramento, they have room to hide depending on where this arrow lands. And it's going to go to the northeast. Again, Sacramento, they're not going to play anybody here. We're going to give them Nevada. It kind of, it just clips Nevada. And again, so Sacramento looks like they're running out of room to hide. Here we go. I think that's like six spins in a row. I don't think we've had six land spins like this entire video. So we finally get Charlotte. I don't think Charlotte has anywhere to go. Charlotte is going to go to the Northwest and I am wrong. Charlotte is going to take over West Virginia. Holy shit. This has just literally been a spree of teams just getting additional land, which, you know, is good because now they're really running out of room to, to run, except for pretty much Memphis. Oh my God. This is not what I expected to happen here. Nobody wants to play in this top five matchup. We're going to get Orlando again. Orlando, I'm 95% sure, is completely out of room to run. And they're going to attack to the north. The Orlando Magic, completely out of room to run, are going to take on the Charlotte Hornets in the first top five matchup. Here we go. We get Paulo Boncaro, Franz Wagner, taking on LaMelo Ball and Marianne Miller. Let's see who wins this one. Heading into the fourth quarter, the Hornets and the Magic are tied at seven apiece. Who will pull away? Will Charlotte take down the Magic? Or will Paulo Bancaro secure the Magic spot in the top five? Here we go. Let's find out. Bancaro isolated on the left block. Our first good game in a while. Oh, he missed the left hook shot. Up to Trey Man kicks it out to LaMelo. Will LaMelo be the one taking these final shots? Probably attacks Jalen Suggs. Gets the, oh, he missed it. Never mind. Wendell Carter to Jalen Suggs. Here come the Magic under 30 to go. Probably going to go back to Paulo Bancaro. And they do. They're going to go quick. Attacking Miles Bridges. No doubles coming. And he put it off back rim. Here come the Hornets. Miles Bridges up to Brandon Miller. Over to Mark Williams. And the Hornets take a two-point lead. Timeout Orlando. Magic down by two. They're going to go down to Paulo. Same play. They're going to look to him to tie the game here. He bullies. Absolutely bullies Miles Bridges. And the Hornets call a timeout. Four seconds to go. Tie game. What do the Hornets have in store? Ball to ball. 
No, ball to Brandon Miller. He pump faked. He got by him. Oh my goodness. Point four to go. Magic call timeout. Brandon Miller. He, the little ball just dabbed, but Brandon Miller, what is he doing? He won't stop dabbing. Brandon Miller pump faked Franz Wagner out of his fucking shoes. Oh my goodness. Point four. It's going to be a catch and shoot. It only needed two. Where's this ball going to go? To Wagner from deep. Oh my goodness, Charlotte escapes with a win. What a game. And here's what the map looks like with the final five teams. We have the Kings and the Clippers in the West. We have the Dallas Mavericks in the Midwest. And the Hornets and the Grizzlies in the East and the Northeast. We're down to five. Who will be the first game in the top five? Let's take a look. No rest for the weary. We're going to get the Charlotte Hornets. And they're going to be attacking to the East, Southeast. So because of this East, Southeast, it's technically tilted. Let's take a look at this arrow again. It's technically on a downward slant. Which means we're going to go this way which means charlotte is going to take on dallas this is going to be a tough game for the hornets hornets mavericks lamella ball versus luca and kyrie can the hornets take them down it's going to be a super tough game for the young charlotte hornets just under a minute to go the hornets up by one can they cling to this lead lamella going to attack luca goes right at him crazy lift doesn't get it to go luca on the break here we go luca attacking trey man pulls up the Mavericks have the lead. Timeout, Charlotte. Oh, my goodness. What will the Hornets cook up? They're down one. Just over 30 seconds to go. LaMelo going to attack Luka. Spin with Hiko. Pull up for three. Oh, my God, LaMelo Ball. You're a madman. They foul Kyrie. That was an insane shot. 25 to go. They did have a foul to give. Ball's going to get into Luka eventually. And they're going to play the foul game. Dallas up by one. Luka has a chance to extend the lead to three here. Hits the first. And he hits the second. Timeout, Charlotte. They use their final timeout. Just over 24 to go. LaMelo Ball misses and dallas is a free throw trip away from sealing this game let's see if they can do it luca first free throw drills it and the mavericks are gonna take down the hornets and we're down to the final four teams we have the mavericks in the south southeast the clippers in the south west the kings in the northwest and the memphis grizzlies in the northeast and the midwest who will be playing next let's take a look at that the final four who will be eliminated here the first team to play is we get to see dallas again Dallas, this time, is going to the Northwest. So there is a chance. Oh, there isn't a chance. They're going to take on the Clippers. So we get to see Luka versus Kawhi one more time. The winner will be moving to the top three, and the loser will be knocked out of the Final Four. We've seen a lot of the Mavericks lately, but it's Luka, Kyrie, taking on James Harden and Kawhi Leonard. Who will come out on top? Let's find out. Here we go. In the fourth quarter, Clippers up by one. Can they hold on to this leader? Will Dallas come back and stun them on the road? The Clippers have been a surprising outfit in this tournament. Kawhi Leonard... Miss the jumper. Here comes Daniel Gafford out to Kyrie Irving. Will the Mavs have in store? Although he's going to blow by him. Kyrie Irving free run to the rim. And the Mavericks take a one-point lead. Timeout LA. Into Terrence Mann. To Kawhi Leonard at the elbow. What are they running? A the triangle? Attacks PJ Washington. Gets his own rebound. Out to... That was James Harden. Derek Jones. Harden. 30 seconds to go. Pulls up for three. James Harden, a flamethrower, gives the Clippers a two-point lead. Mavericks timeout. My goodness, what a call. P.J. Washington, 30 seconds to go. What will the Mavericks do here? Luka, is he going to attack right away? He is. Goes right at James Harden, and he misses it. Kawhi Leonard gets the ball. They're going to play the free throw game. Oh, my goodness. James Harden is probably going to go to the line to take these shots if they can get it into him, and they will. James Harden put the Clippers up by two possessions. Here we go. Let's find out. First one goes up. And he missed the free throw. So even if he makes this, Clippers are only going to be up by one possession still. Mavericks call their final timeout. What will Jason Kidd draw? Here we go. P.J. Washington going to inbound the ball. I wonder if this ball goes to Klay Thompson here in this corner. Luka comes up for the ball. Kyrie wide open in the corner. Tie game. Timeout LA. Their final timeout. What a play call by Jason Kidd. How was Kyrie Irving so wide open? Will we have overtime or will the Clippers take the lead here? Derek Jones Jr. inbounds to James Harden. He goes right at Luka. Is it going to be a James Harden final shot? They look like they're going to wind this clock all the way down. Under 10, 7, Zubac, pull, screen, going down to Kawhi. 5, 4, he's got to go. 3, 2, Oh my God, we're going overtime. Oh my God, what a terrible play call by Ty Lue. Here we go. Zubak. Oh no. Gafford wins the tip. Here comes Luka. Again, only a minute in overtime. Luka goes right by James Harden. Pulls up and he makes it. Mavericks go up by two. Timeout LA. Here we go. What will the Clippers do? They have a timeout still, but here comes Derek Jones Jr. Inbound to Kawhi. Right at P.J. Washington. Misses it. The Mavs have a chance to go up by two possessions here. Out to P.J. Washington. Oh, he missed it. Oh, my God. Clippers with the rebound. Derek Jones Jr. Up to James Harden. Down to Terrence Mann. Tie game. Timeout Dallas. And the Clippers tie the game here in overtime. Here comes P.J. Washington. Over to Luka. Tie game. Will the Mavericks hold for the final shot or will they attack early? 
It's probably gonna be a Luka Iso. 10 to go. Nine, eight, he's gonna go right at him, no screen. Seven, six, five, attacks James Harden, gets by him! Layup! Timeout LA! Three seconds to go, what will the Clippers draw up? Only three seconds to go. Here we go, what will the Clippers draw up? They only needed two. They inbounded James Harden to Terrence Mann! And he missed it! Oh my god, the Clippers collapsed! And the Mavericks go on the road and take down LA. What a game! And just like that, we have the final three teams. The Kings in the Northwest, Dallas controlling almost the entire South and Midwest, and Memphis controlling the entire Northeast. What a video this has been so far, guys. Alright, so we're down to the final three teams here. Let's see who's going to play first. It's gonna be the Sacramento Kings. Okay, so the Sacramento Kings technically still have a chance to just take land here. And they're going to go directly north, and that means they are. They're just going to take over Idaho here. And they are running out of room to hide, but there is still some space here in the Midwest and the north. Who will actually be the first team to play? Let's see who is going to play in these top three matchup. Sacramento cannot hide. Now, which direction are they going to go? They're going to go to the southeast, which means Sacramento is going to take on Dallas. And the winner of this will easily have the most land, and they'll control almost the entire map. Let's get into it. De'Aaron Fox, DeMar DeRozan, and Demonis Sabonis taking on Luka Kyrie. Clay Thompson. Let's see who's going to win this. The winner of this secures their spot in the championship game. Let's get into it. Here in the final quarter, Dallas has a one point lead against Sacramento. Luka goes right at De'Aaron Fox. Hop step. What a move. Dallas goes up by three. Sacramento calls timeout. Here we go. De'Aaron Fox down three. Under a minute to go. Blows right by Luka. And he misses the layup. Oh my goodness. Dallas with a chance to seal the game. Up top. Gafford. Dagger. Dallas goes up five and that's going to do it. De'Aaron Fox comes back. Hits a jumper to cut the lead to three. Luka goes right by. Oh my god. They can't stop Luka. The Mavs. Extend the lead back to five, and that's probably going to do it. We're down to the final two teams. The Dallas Mavericks control almost the entire west and south of the map, while Memphis controls the entire Midwest, north, and east. We obviously know who's going to be playing, but who's going to be attacking? This is huge because obviously we've seen it's tough to win on the road, and Memphis has to go on the road now. There is a chance Memphis actually just takes more land. They're going to the southeast now. Let's take a look at this. They're going to take on Dallas. They're going right here. They're attacking Dallas. So Memphis has to go on the road to take on the Mavericks. Let's find out how that goes. John Morant, Luka Doncic, Jaron Jackson Jr., Kyrie Irving, Desmond Bain, Klay Thompson. It all comes down to this. It's a battle of the West Coast teams. The winner of this will win the entire 2025 NBA tournament. Let's find out. If you made it this far, what are you doing? You got to leave a like. You got to subscribe. If you want to see more NBA content, make sure to comment down below. I want to try something different. But before that, let's get into this game. In the champion game we bring you to the fourth quarter Dallas and Luca are up by two he pulls up and makes it Memphis calls timeout the Mavericks go up by four can Memphis answer back Ja answers quickly 40 seconds to go what does Luca have in store throws a lob Gafford oh my goodness they take another four point lead Memphis has to go quickly 38 seconds to go John Morant goes right at Luca dunks all oh! oh my goodness he tried to murder Luca Doncic what was that by Ja it looks like Dallas is probably gonna win this but oh my goodness Ja Morant just tried to kill Luca Doncic Memphis still has the timeout left they're going to use it here down by six. What does the Grizzlies have in store? Here we go. To Ja. He's wasting way too much time. Blows right by Luka. Step back three. He misses it. Jaron gets the rebound. He misses that too. And they foul Gafford. And that's going to do it. Let's see what if they can pull a miracle out. But odds are this is over. Gafford makes the first. He misses the second. Aldama to Bain. Up to Ja. To Vince Williams. He, oh, he misses it. And the Dallas Mavericks are going to win the 2025 NBA 2K25 Imperialism Tournament Championship. Oh my goodness, what a game. John Morant tried to murder Luka Doncic. And just like that, the Dallas Mavericks are the winners of the 2025 NBA Imperialism Tournament Championship. This is what the map looks like. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment down below if you want to see me more, do more NBA stuff or any other videos in general. Make sure to subscribe. Any YouTube things like this video find out if they're right